New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. Uh, you may hear this morning Jim Brown, um, civil rights activist as well as a football player, but became a civil rights activist after playing football. He doesn't completely agree with Colin Kaepernick. And I said earlier on the show, I wish elders of the civil rights movement would be more unified with the movements of today. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the movements of today are not just civil rights. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Civil. In the 60s, black people was just wanting civil. Just civility. Mm Mm-hmm. You would assume that that in so many, that sounds crazy when you think of it that way. They just wanted civil rights. Right. We just want to be even, equal. No, no, no. We just do each. That was that was the we next the equal basic. rights. Was the next was next. This was civil. No, I thought that was a part of being civil. Can I go in here and use your bathroom? Basics. That's right. basics, bro. Right. That's basics. So this is what Jim Brown had to say. Colin has to make up his mind whether he's truly an activist or whether he's a football player. If you try to be both in a situation, football is commercial, you have owners, you have fans, and you want to honor that if you're making that kind of money. If you have a cause, I think you should organize it, present it in a manner where it's not only you standing uh, sitting on one knee, but a lot of people that is going to get behind each other and do something about it. If I ask you one question, who is calling, calling on to follow what he's talking about? So many of us have always done it, and we're here to help anyone that wants to do it. But I would advise a young man, if you're a football player, play football. If you're going to be a real activist, use your money, use your notoriety. It does have meaning to me, and I think that I want to be in his corner. And I do thank God bless him, but that's not my leadership. Here. To Jim Brown. All due respect, I love you and I love all the work you've done. But I wish people like yourself would take it upon yourself to reach out to young people like somebody like a Colin Kaepernick instead of finding the first microphone to speak out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And this is what Eric Reed. Now remember, Colin Kaepernick was made the poster boy for this. But there were other players that kneeled. They used Colin Kaepernick because he had the afro. And he was a quarterback. They used him as the face of people who are protesting and kneeling during the national anthem. He, he was the first one too, no? Who Colin Kaepernick? Yeah. Him, but he was with his teammate at the same time. They will. Who take was out in the leaders. photo? Right. But the very first time he kneeled was himself, correct? With Eric Reed. The first time. Too? Yes. Mm. And this is what Eric Reed had to say. Just had to change the heart. A lot of thinking, um, a lot of praying, talking to Colin. When we started last year, if you recall, we said that our goal is to raise awareness and uh, shed light on the issues that were happening in our country. I think we accomplished that goal. Um, what I was upset about was the narrative, the false narratives that was being told about us. Um, people were saying that we we're un-American, um, that we were against police entirely and the military, and that just wasn't true. Um, and at first I thought that was a small sacrifice to pay to get the word out, to again raise that awareness. And I settled with thinking, um, raising that awareness was victory. Then fast forward to Charlottesville, and the country sees what an un-American protest really looks like. And that's when I had my change of heart. And so Eric Reed said he's still going to be kneeling. Mm. While Colin Kaepernick said, I'm on to do other things. And as Jim Brown asked the question rhetorically in that first segment, in the first audio clip, who does Colin Kaepernick have organized with him? He has tons of people organized with him. Mm. But... To our elders who were a part of movements before, you're not in touch with the new movements happening right now. That's why you think Colin Kaepernick is not a part of organizations or connecting with other people in the community. Mm -hmm. Because you're not in touch. You're not listening to young people and what they're saying the issues are today. And you may not be a fan of how they're going about doing it. But the way you went about doing it before made some progress. But you're going to have to change your means of getting uh, uh, awareness and creating conversation if you want to have more impact today. Because it's going to be different this time. And it's going to continue to be different. 
And those of you that are like, oh, well, there's marches and there's things like that. And if you're on a football team, you should just do what you're told. Nobody's doing that this time. Colin Kaepernick's not afraid to not work for the NFL or any team. He's not afraid of that. And the reason he's not out here doing every other interview, because he's busy organizing. He don't have nothing to say. I right. said what I needed to say. It is what it is. I don't need to do an interview. I don't need to come talk to you. And Jim Brown went on to say this. But I think you have to understand there's intelligence that's involved. Okay? I can't be two things at once that contradict each other. If I sign for money, then these the people I sign with, they have rules and regulations. But I'm going to give you the real deal. I'm an American. I don't desecrate my flag and my national anthem. I'm not going to do anything against the flag and the national anthem. I'm going to work within those situations. But this is my country, and I'll work out the problem, but I'll do it in an intelligent manner. So he's saying Colin Kaepernick's manner isn't intelligent. Mm. And how did Colin Kaepernick desecrate a flag? Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Right. I don't think he's saying that. And where does it say you have to stand for the national anthem? Where Nowhere. is that written? What is it that you pointed out last time that I, the information that I didn't know about? Um, the national nope. anthem wasn't even on television. Yes, thank you. Until the kneeling became a thing. But then you told me that because, was it the military that paid the for it? The military paid for it because it's advertising. Right. And so they, the military people come out, the veterans come out, they hold the flag. The military armed services paid for that airtime so the NFL would carry that. Right. And people started paying attention to it because Colin Kaepernick took a knee. It's a very interesting time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> very interesting time. Mm -hmm. I love Jim Brown. I love what you did and have done. But, sir, you're wrong. You're wrong on this one. You should speak to Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, he shouldn't be speaking out. You should public. speak to Harry Belafonte. But he does have a point in that because there's money behind it. If somebody is paying for something, they're going to persecute you for trying to have your personal agenda within it. That's, that a, that's fine. So that's why he's. And Colin weird. Kaepernick, I think, knew what he was signing up for. Right. That I agree with. I think Colin knew. And you don't. And you don't hear anybody. You don't hear Colin winning. Kaepernick saying anything. Yeah. With yeah, regard to the NFL right. or placing blame on ownership, you don't hear any of that. That's other people doing that. You don't right. see him holding right. his own press conferences or doing interviews. He won't yeah. even do interviews. Nah, he's, telling. he's too busy putting in work in the community. Well, and also we because he understands the, the game. If you don't, does. if you don't like me and you don't like how I plan to use the time during the national anthem, you don't have to have me on your team. Mm 